The imposing godstone of Bajornath approaches. His severe vis visage makes it feel like he's watching you even now. The caravan spreads out, happy to be free of the conf um, confining forest and in open fields. Hogan pulls you aside to show you some red berries growing on an ash tree that looks like it was chopped down long ago. Bees shouldn't be growing here, he says excitedly. I haven't seen these in a long time. He and Morgan um, busily go about collecting the berries. In fact, in horror of Bethlehem, some of the caravan crack kegs of mead and wine before anyone can stop them. To the only god that matters, they shout. Everyone drinks and glad, to, um, glad for the merriment. That has swept over the caravan. Uh, join the merrymakers. Ooh. Hmm. I want to inspect the godstone. I always do this. You look at the godstone. Bjormoth's head surrounded by images of casks and drinking horns. Though he was always depicted as being stern, Bjormoth was the one of the most popular gods of men in Varl. The one who taught them how to brew. It seemed like more than coincidence that the long fields around Bjormoth's stone have always been excited, ex excellent for growing anything you could need for a good drink. Let's join them in collecting berries. What exactly are these? You ask Hogan. When I would travel to Bo Borgesia with my father, sometimes he'd buy us a few of these. Hogan replies, "Couldn't be lucky to find. Couldn't be a lucky find. See for yourself. You try one. You can feel energy returning to your tired limbs. Not taking a few more would be." And um, would be a wasted opportunity, you figure. So the drugs, basically. As the hour becomes late, the caravan is eventually ready to get back on the road. The day of Bjorma's stone is one of few memories that hasn't been tarnished by the spectacle of bad fortune, you think to yourself. Oh, and we gained some berries. And we've got an achievement. Godstone. I would like to get to... Okay, once we get to this village, I'm probably going to stop because my voice is going, like, complete crap. Because I try and put on the odd voice here and there, so... Terrible voices, but still! Hard words from one mother to another to draw the attention to the entire caravan. My daughter marries Ragni, or no one. That reed fin tramp you call a daughter won't provide sons. The insul... Insulted mother bears her teeth, ready to attack. Um, warrior on margin of time, explain yourselves, or keep the woman separated. Uh, keep the woman separated. There's no time for this, you say, and signal to another man. The two women are moved to opposite sides of the camp, kicking and swearing. Though you f might have handled it more deftly, most of the caravan finds it entertaining. Yeah, I, I could have had a good cat fight, but I thought you might have knocked... A lamp over and set fire to something. a smattering of farmhouses than a proper town. Though judging by stray dredge stalking through empty fields, it is barely even that anymore. I like having the subtitles on. <laughs> you don't need them very often, but still. Ryan comes and goes as a long series of farmhouses abandoned and crawling with dredge. The farmers have probably already fled to Borsgard. You'll try to hurry past, but eventually spot it. Dread start ambling in your direction. Ambling in your direction. What is this? Point out old leaf. Up near one of the long houses in the distance, a large person clothes. Seemingly covered in blood, is cursing loudly and stumbling about. He staggers into a long house, laughing. The dredge, heading your direction, turn back, roaring, and begins to pound on the long house doors. They seem to be holding a grudge against this particular person. You doubt the door will hold long. We need to help. Maybe he'll join us. He seems like a badass. I guess I've better judgement. We should probably do something. You say the others agree, even though it means putting them all at risk. As you quietly approach, the dredge have managed to splinter the door and break through. Hey! shouts Avaro, wearing all red, standing on the other side of the dredge. Came all the way up here just for me. He seems unconcerned about the dredge as he hoists his enormous sword. 
Okay, so he's on our side, yep. So we've got you, and you, and... Ivor, and Krumar, and... Orderleaf. We're ready. See, we can get this guy on our side if we help him out, which is why I want to help him. Might as well get some badass Varro on our team. We've got, like, um, Ivor and whatnot. Uh, one, two, so only six. I think we can definitely handle that. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, 22 strength, 13 armor, oh, that's quite bad. Mm. Yeah, we can do it. Can you take out a lot of armor? What the hell's going on here? Massive lag spike! What the hell? Okay, that was strange. Oh god, that's gonna hurt! Holy crap on the cracker! That hurt so badly! Wow! That was agony! Poor guy! He's already down. Jesus Christ. That was pretty bad. Let's see, he has six armor, and then we can start working on his strength. That was a lot of strength he has. Jesus. Please don't hit Odoif. No! No, Odoif, no, elite, I mean. <laughs> God damn it, you bastard. We need to finish... If we finish off his armor, we can destroy his strength. Say 13. That's what we need. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And... If she has enough... Yes, she does. He's down. Excellent. We need to start on his strength, because he is so powerful. So he's going to go just wreck me now. If I hadn't done strength, he would have killed me in that one hit. Yep. Good. Shouldn't be anyone else who's really a threat now. Yeah, you can go down easy enough in two hits. And these guys are all quite weak, so it's okay. You're gonna do some explosive bullshit, whatever. I can care less, really. Yeah, go on, why not? Okay... Uh. Come on, just do armor. I would have rather finished him, but I couldn't quite do it. Damn it. Move away from the explosive crap. Smack the crap out of that guy. Uh, you need to move away from the explosive bullshit. Yep. Do that. Ooh. Did that, that didn't kill him, did it? No. Oh, rock's down. So is this guy. It's been a bad fight, but we're gaining an ally for it, I think, so it's worth it. It costs us like a couple days supplies and recovery. Not a good chance to do passing around, but meh. Um yeah. 
smack his armor down. You're gonna get taken down, buddy. Sorry. Uh, and you're doing explosive crap, whatever. It's all good. May as well destroy his armor. Then he runs on his own explosive stuff. Don't hit her, you bitch. Bitch. Oh, he's immune to his explosive stuff. What shenanigans? Such shenanigans. God damn it. Oof. It's nasty. He's down, and this guy goes down next to him. Okay, bye, sir. Owned. Good. Eight renown. Welcome to my mead house, Sibgorn House of Mead. Wasn't expecting a varl this far south. Or this drunk. <laughs> I can see that. There are people huddled in the corners of the mead house looking on with uneasiness. Who are all these? Who are these? Who are you people? No, no. They're friends. They made this place. It's not really mine. You lured Dredge back to a room full of unarmed people. What's wrong with you? Come on, I saved everyone in here. They shared some fine drink. The best drink. Wait, I was saving your ass. Remember, you, remember that part. If you knew you, if you knew you'd come up here, you could have told me. What do we have? To, what do we do with this guy? Uh, how much? Uh, how much mead left? Townsville show up and um, show a huge sack of barrels filled with quantity of mead and help you haul haul back to your caravan. I'll miss this place. Good memories. Good, so we should become one of us, right? With some help, you gather up the casks of mead and head back to the caravan. To be honest, the other survivors in tow, the caravan gives the poisonous varl a large berth as you set off for Borsgard. Okay, I haven't outdone me for now because my voice is blah, 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 blah. So I will see you next time. Buy this game, it's good. Bye. <laughs>